Hey everyone, I'm sure you've seen some videos going around of different music teachers playing songs on glasses filled with water. So I thought we'd give that a shot today. Um, I'm also going to talk about some of the science behind it and some of the history. Um, and we're also going to learn what a round is today. That's a type of, of song. Um, and at the end, we'll try to play some music together. What you'll need for this video is six different size glasses um, and some water and something to hit the glasses with. I've just got my little chopsticks. First thing that we're going to talk about is why glasses make either higher or lower sounds depending on how much water you put in it. This is just my extra one. I'm going to use this glass because it, it sounds pretty good. And here's the reason. Sound is made up by vibrations. Okay, so what you're hearing is actually the glass vibrating. The more water you put in, the slower the glass can vibrate, so that brings the note down. And the less water, the higher it will go. Much higher. People have actually been making music with glass and water for hundreds of years. Um, the first instrument that was invented using it was called the glass harp, and that was in the, the middle of the 1700s, a long time ago. Um, and then Benjamin Franklin actually invented an instrument called the glass harmonica. That's actually a really neat instrument. It's different glass cups that layer around each other, and you actually play it with your fingers while they all turn. My glasses are actually tuned to the first um, five notes of a major scale, plus the octave. Okay, so mine start on F, G, A, B flat, C, and then this is F again, but an octave higher. All right, so if you want to, you can try to get your glasses as close to this as you can. Next, we're going to talk about what a round is. A round is a simple song that can be sung by multiple people. And when the first person gets to a certain point in the song, the next person will start the song again, but from the beginning. And so as that goes, the first person that started the song will be the first person to end the song. But then the second person that started the song will finish next and so on and so on until it's all done. The easiest version of that is probably Row Your Boat, and that's what we're going to try today. I find that it's a little bit easier to play it going this way, with the glasses going away from me, so that I can play them on the sides. And I usually set them up so that the lowest one is next to me, and the highest one is the furthest away. I'm going to teach you how to play just on one side so that you can see what glasses I'm hitting when. When I do the other video, I'll, I'll use both hands. To finish up today's lesson, I'm going to play Row Your Boat in four parts, and each part is going to start four beats after the previous one. So for example, the first melody will start, and then four beats after that, the second one will start, and then four beats after the second one started, the third one will start, and so on, until it's all done. Okay, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson, and I will see you next time.